good evening. Today we're in St. Pölzen, uh, Austria, and uh, getting prepared for our first meeting tomorrow as Men of Hope. Me together with Michael Will Roberts from, uh, from Canada, A. Eh? And uh, today has been a day of driving. We saw some beautiful scenery, and uh, here's uh, a message from uh, Michael. Care. <laughs> no, obviously it's beautiful. When you cross the border, it's beautiful. Poland's dark. It's a really, really dark place. There's death everywhere. You can just smell it. You can feel it. You can see and smell poverty everywhere. You know, just like I was saying the other day, you can see prostitutes out in the bushes. And and all the deaths from the death camps and just everything. It's just a bad, bad feeling there. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, I'm exhausted. The last couple of nights, no sleep at all. And now my brain, I could just tell everybody to beat it. <laughs> I guess I just don't care. I'm just, that's just how I feel right now because my brain is so shut down. I have no feelings at all right now, really. You know, uh, I am happy about one thing. I got a good room tonight. Got a handicapped room, so I'm gonna be able to have a nice hot bath there. And then I'll take my medicine. Everybody will be happy to know I brought all my pills to Europe with me. So there's no worry of me having a heart attack anywhere. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I was really impressed with the lady downstairs. The hospitality is much, much better. I found that, uh, and not, not to, to sound mean, but I found that the, the ladies in the hospitality-wise in Poland was uh, really stiff, I found it. And, uh, but here is a, a big difference. Even when we got to the border and uh, I was over getting my picture taken next to that cop car, the, uh, the cop come running out. Twenty dollars, twenty dollars, <laughs> and he come and took his picture with me at the cop car. You know, so I thought that was that was pretty classy. I can't imagine in my lifetime any cop that would actually want to get their picture taken with me. <laughs> so, so you know, I, and then afterward, when I went to the gas station, I found two little police cars. So I bought them for my collection, and now I have a picture of me and that cop. I had to put behind the in a showcase with the two cars. And put the picture in there. <laughs> it's gonna look cool. Anyway, uh, I'll make it real short. I, I'm 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 dead tired, folks. I'm sorry about that. And my brain is is absolute mush. I really have nothing constructive or educational <laughs> to say, other than I just don't give a crap about nothing right now. My brain's mush, and that's just me being honest. But I I. Uh, I've been a little bit disappointed and uh, and that I've been drinking Tim Horton's coffee for uh, many, many years now. <laughs> and I, I knew it was a slop, it wasn't the best coffee, but I was addicted to it. I had it, you know, seven or eight times a day. But now after drinking all this European coffee and that, and I'm going to go home and Nancy boy, and I'm going to end up going to the fancy coffee shops, drinking fancy coffee all the time because nothing's going to compare to it now and uh, I've already developed a palate for it I'm drinking it faster than you guys can drink it here in Europe so I'm going to be in for big trouble <laughs> when I go back it's probably part of the reason why I haven't slept the last few nights but anyway the message is for Pastor Ted we've been fighting over which is better Tim Hortons or Starbucks Starbucks for years Swear I'd never go to a Starbucks. So yeah, Pastor Ted, I promise when I come home, I will go to Starbucks and have a fancy coffee. <laughs> a strong one. I promised one guy I was gonna bring him back some strong uh, Ethiopian coffee. He may not get it now, because I might need it. <laughs> but I'm surprised, like just everything here is different. I didn't think it would be much different, but just, oh, the architecture is way more beautiful. The old buildings and stuff. And B 
people a little bit friendlier. The people at the gas station were just freaked out about by me a little bit. <sighs> I'm sure it has something to do with my good looks. I want to thank uh, all my supporters, all you who made it possible to for Michael to to fly over here. You came up with the money for his flight and uh, for the ferry tickets and uh, all your support. We love you and. Uh, we have our first meeting in Salzburg tomorrow night, so we see how it goes. It will go good. So good night and God bless.